Okay, that's good. I can see. Yeah, from this angle, I can see. Perfect. You know, that'd be fine. Okay, so uh, right finding stand. Okay. Open or close? Open. Open. Yeah, open. Right. Just again, be mindful of the triangle. Not mm -hmm. only your body's a triangle, but also your arms. <coughs> your arms are a triangle. Rather than this way or too too narrow, too parallel. Right. Of course, front hand is slightly in the front. Rear hand is. It, it came from this. Mm -hmm. This became this. Okay. This is the traditional closed version, closed guard, open guard. Okay. Yep. It's the same same concept. Closed, of course, you you seal off the center line. Open, you opened up the center line to bait. That's basically it. Yep. You want them to see the center line. That way you can ambush. You can intercept. Okay. Because each each uh, guard presents an advantages and disadvantages. Okay. The closed guard, traditional guard, closed guard, you seal off uh, your center line so that they have to go around you. Mm -hmm. Right? That's your intention because it is useless to attack the center line when it's closed. Right? So you force them to do it this way, then you can step that way. With the open guard, you keep the open line open so they can attack the center line. Then you can attack in an ang ambush in an angular fashion. Okay. So, so those are concepts behind um, close guard and open guard. Okay. So get this get to the open guard. Okay. Be sure this not too much this way, but too down this way. Okay. Because you're in neutral, you're not defending or attacking. You're in between. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do dark. Okay. One, two, just just a four, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four. Very good. And walk back. And dark. One. Two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk forward. When you do dart retreat, you want to make sure you you move in such a way you don't feel stiff. The concept is slide and drag. Okay, slide and drag. So it, it, it's like it's like there's a, a piece of paper. Um, between your 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 feet and the ground, so there's not a lot of friction like this. Mm. It's just you know you know this very slick paper. Yeah, very slick, very uh, glossy. Mm -hmm. That feet, that feet. So you're like sliding, not directly on the surface, the rough surface of the ground, but that smooth, glossy surface of the of that piece of paper. Oh. That's the feel. Okay? That allows you to glide and effortlessly and not stiff. You don't feel like okay, you have that feeling. It's almost hovering but not weighing down. There you go. It, you, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. And you want to feel that you, your body is not rather very, very light and uh, uh, supple. Kind of stiff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So right side again. And this time we're going to walking. Okay. Walking is you shifting the weight. From right now, if you're in the right fighting stance, your weight is on the right leg, left leg. As you move forward, there's a transitional point. Transitional point where the weight is in the middle. Then, sh then shift the weight. See the weight is. See it right now, it's in between. Now it's on the right leg. Okay, so have that feeling of transition. Okay? okay. Alright. One, two, three, four, and walk back. One, two, three, four. Very good. And walk back and walk back. The next one, you want to. Do shuffle, shuffle, 
one foot, which is your rear foot, forcing the front foot to go forward. One, two, three, four, and retreat. Oh, sh uh, shuffle back. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Okay, shuffle forward. One, two, three, four, and shuffle back. One, two, three, four, and walk forward. Very good. Okay. Next one is side step. Side step. First, we're going to side step your left. Okay. One, two, three. Side step to your right. One, two, three. Walk forward. Side step to your left. One, two, three. To your right. One. Two, three, walk back. Good, we're going to do a dart again, this time striking with the front hand, okay? So you, your, your, uh, your fists are lightly clinched, lightly clinched, okay? And you don't want to tighten that grip, uh, that, that, uh, that, that hand, until you're just about to turn, rotate, okay? Same thing as this. You don't, you want to rotate this way, which is vertical, and then you rotate horizontally like this. Okay? So front hand, front hand, and repeat, okay? One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, the same side, forward. One, Two, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, four, walk back. Same thing, dart. One, two, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, four, walk back. Very good. Okay. There, like everything else, there are two, always two ways, the yin and yang. Okay? What we, we were doing, you, you guys were just doing, is the punch happened uh, when your front foot stepped forward. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? The other way, of course, is wait for the rear foot. Front <laughs> seagull. Okay? Okay. Well, because you're used to doing the first one. Yeah, you're right. So here, here's the reason why. It depends on you're doing uh, not sticking fighting or sticking fighting. If you're not holding on to somebody, you just go forward. Of course, your front foot and front hand will be um, moving together, right? Faster. Mm -hmm. But now look, if I'm going like this, one, two, right? <laughs> Uh, if I yeah. grab somebody, right? So for example, if, if I'm right here, the, the first one, I don't need to close the gap. Mm -hmm. I need to just go one, right? Yep. Or I can go one, two. Yep. Right? So it's, it depends on both. Because if I don't step forward, I, I miss that. If, if I just go like this, I missed him, right? Okay, okay. so I go boom. Okay? Cool. So, well, because yeah. we're not used to doing that. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, everything has a reason, you know, we, 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 we explore both sides of the yin. <laughs> so we don't say, oh, I've never done that before. The body says, I've done it many times. What else can you surprise me? And nothing, you know, anybody. Because in, in, a, in, a, in a combat situation, you don't want to be in a situation that I've never done that before. <laughs> then, you're, then you're in trouble, you know. So yeah. we explore all the possibilities, whether whether they appear to be practical or not. Just so we can say we never we've been to this territory. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so that's what you want to think. You want to think like one two. Oh, me rear hand. One two. One two. One two. As opposed to one two. The first version is. One coil, right? Yep. Right? You strike and then you 
you, you get back to the, uh, uh, the setup. The other one is one, two. So these two are con connected now. Yeah. Okay? It takes a little getting used to it, but. Alright? <clears throat> Just imagine you do this one, two, right? You're, okay. Right? You, if these two work together, if you slap down, otherwise it's be like this. <laughs> Yeah, right? True. Okay. If you don't use a real foot, it will be like this. You're dumping water. That's oh, undesirable. So you basically you're thinking to do this. One, two. One, two. Okay. If I don't do the left hand, it's like one, I mean right hand. Okay. One, two. One, two. Eventually it becomes one, two. One, two. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is how you close the gap. Yeah. Uh, in this case, you notice you're not doing one beat fighting. You're doing two beat fighting. Yes. Oh, because it's one, two. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're trying to do one beat fighting in the first, you go like this. Right? You don't want to overreach. Right? So there's a t there are times you do two beat fighting, there are times you do one beat fighting. If he's coming towards you, yeah, you can do one beat because you're not trying to reach him. Mm -hmm. He's trying to reach you. Yep. Right it here. takes time to cover distance. Yep. No matter how small the distance is, you still need some time to cover. You know, to cross from where he is to where you are. Yes. Whereas if you're staying right here, it's easier to do this. For him, he needs to reach you. You factor that in, okay? Alright? This is one reason. Another reason would be one, two. Yeah, that was going right. to say, so we have to... Exactly, to right? If you start with front hand, you start with front foot. If you start with the rear hand, rear hand and the front foot work together now. One, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right? So... so we have done it. <laughs> yeah, we have done it, yeah. You just, in this context, you say, well, without... Sometimes we learn things by... By, 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 by reference. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you're, you're working with your left hand, but you look to your right hand for cues. True. Sometimes when you do two hands, it's easier because, oh, when he does this, I'll do this. But when you break it apart, right, right. ah, this, wait, that doesn't look right. It is right. But I, I, I'm, I don't have the other guy to help me, guide me. Mm -hmm. right. right? So remember when we do this, the uh, knife form? Same thing. You know, first you do single hand, you, uh, double hand, right? right? Then you do single hand. Together, right? You know, yes. that's that's how you become. You get depth in your skills. Okay. It's easy to do two-handed because that's the way you're taught. But when you start breaking it down to one-handed only, that takes some thinking, some some um, some fil filtration from percolating, a uh, little percolating, you know, to sink to the bottom. Right? Yep. Right. This is easy, right? Slide. Left, right, left. Take away this guy, one right? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Together. Okay, without hesitation. All this is time your mind is working really fast. In charge, yes. 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 Rather than say, okay, I can do double handed, uh, single handed. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, this. Okay, what about my body? Mm. Oh. What about my left hand? Okay. Because you don't have this luxury when you actually fight. <laughs> you have to be able to break it down and put it back together. Right. That's, it is so with the knife form, it is so with the empty hand form. Same yeah. thing. Here. Double or single. Bong sao, tan sao, bong sao, tan sao, bong sao, tan sao. Okay? Oh, tan sao, pong sao, tan sao, bong sao, bong sao, tan sao, bong sao, tan sao, tan sao, bong sao, together. Uh huh. Cool. And just understanding where things came from. I noticed a long time ago, the second form, I always used to, what is this? What is this? And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, absolutely. And yes. then after a while, you start to see when you break it down one Yes. Ab absolutely. Like, that's what this is the whole time. I know. It's like it's right there. Yes, that's the that's 
doing the homework. You don't take anything for granted. You can say, oh, that's part of the movement. That's part of the form. And if you break it down, you can say, ah, oh, now, can I do this? Why not? You just try it. If it doesn't work, you do your homework already. But if it works, you discover something. Yep. That's the beauty of discovery. There are no hidden secrets, like most people, as most people say. Right. <coughs> They're just discoveries. And the discovery part has to be done by you. Yeah. You take, you learn the form, you master the form, then you take the forms apart. If you know where it came from, after it's broken, broken apart, you don't easily put it back. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, a clock worker. Clock repairman would not just take the parts out willy nilly. Take a part and they put it in such a way they could easily put it back in, the, in some kind of sequence, right? Rather, hmm, here, here, here. Now I'm lost. There are 100 pieces. Yeah. Right? So they take it apart and put it in such a way that they can easily put back. That's the roots. The roots need to be understood in order to you to, to grow and then you always know all these things came from the roots. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Constructing a uh, building a clock and then taking it apart. Put it back together. Do this I remember when I went out to the army, same thing. Your rifle is your wife. <laughs> no one else is important. No one else was out uh, 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 infantry men. You and your suit and your your not uh, your uh, knife, <laughs> your ladies, yeah. Your rifle, you're married. If you don't take care of it, it's not gonna take care of you. Which means taking it apart, you know, oil it, disassemble and assemble. To the point you should be able to do it blindfolded in the dark. In fact, that's what we used to do. You know, you're sleeping in a in a nice dream, you know, think about women, right? Because <laughs> you're you're all with guys. And then, so I blew the whistle, you got up and say, grab your rifle and disassemble in the dark. Yeah. You got to do it, you know, and then now assemble them. Of course, people, I'm missing parts, I'm living to it, you know. But once you do it in the, in the daylight, often enough, you, you get to know the parts so well. Right. True, true. You don't have to see it, you feel it. Okay, that's this part that's there, you know. Of course, I can't do it anymore. It has been practice yeah. 30 years, you know. Yeah. But that's how we used to do because we say, well, why don't you turn the lights on? He says, hey, this isn't, if you're in combat, you're in a pitch dark situation outdoor. Someone's going to shine a light. Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Rockets, right? Uh, <laughs> right? So well, they, light, they 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 light. Oh, there they are. They, get, they put the, you know, artillery shells. No, you uh, can't give them away where your location is. Yeah. You just got to do it. Sometimes you, you're rolling the dirt because necessity, you know, the shooting at shooting at you, you do a, a, a three point drop, right? You gotta roll around the dirt and then it gets dirty. Mm -hmm. You gotta take it apart, right? And then put it back in, otherwise it's gonna jam. Yeah. So anyway, so those are things um, which is the same thing what we do. We basically have the tools, we polish them all the time. We have only so many so few actually, we're proud of them. only having so few. The more you have, the more you have to take care of. We only have a few weapons, but every weapon is multifunctional. It can serve as this and as that. You can, each weapon can be defensive and offensive. Rather than having 10 sets of offensive tools and 10 sets of um, defensive tools, we just have a few. Each one can double as the other. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It is so with empty hands, it is so with weapons. Right? The edge of the weapon can, can uh, attack, can chop or, or stab. It can also defend. Yeah. Right? True. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, so what I want to work on is right side forward, okay? So one, two. You're going to wait. One, two. When the other foot arrives, one, two, okay? Right, one, two, okay, right. ready? One, that's it, two, three, four, 
and retreat. One, beautiful. Two, three, four. One more time. Forward. One, two, three, four. Retreat. One, oops. two, three, four. Walk back. Same drill, left side. Your front hand is uh, combined with your rear foot. One, two, three, four. Retreat. One, two, three, four. Okay, now the, the retreat, you can really feel power mm -hmm. with the front hand. Because you do this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. your your shoulder is is working. Yeah, I'm not yeah. using any 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 strength at all. Yeah. But the shoulder, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's a leg. Okay? So really feel that your your attacks are part of become part of the movements. Not disjoint. One, two, three. One, two, three, you know. One, two, one, two. Really feel the power. Yeah. Okay? Left side again. Go forward. One. Yeah. Two. Right. Throw the shoulder out. Three. Yeah. Four. Beautiful. And retreat. Do the same thing. Throw the shoulder out. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Walk back. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So this starts to make sense if you attack with your rear hand first. Sorry. Right? See? One, two, there you go, right? Now by itself it seems silly. But combined with right? Sometimes you strike with the front hand, sometimes you strike with the rear hand. <laughs> right? Right? Okay? So we're in the, we're in the right fighting stance, and I'm going to throw. Um, my rear hand first, one, two, just like this, one, two, without my, my rear hand, without a rear hand, just like this, one, two, with a rear hand, one, two, again, yeah. seeing that and taking it apart, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. right, so when I just show the one side, it looks funny, but when you see the other side, oh, but a lot of people can't see that, they just see a pair, one, two, but when you break it down, say one, two, wait, does it look right? Does it look right? Well, because they're not seeing this part. Yep. Again. Yes. Same like this. One, two, right? Two. Okay. This using the rear hand with the front foot. Okay. One, two. Or using the rear hand with the rear foot, be like this. One, two. One, two. Right? Two. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yin and yang. All right, very good. So right side forward. So we're gonna do the rear hand now. Rear hand strike. You do the rear hand strike. So your rear hand and the front foot working together. Okay. Okay. Just like. Now I go. You can do front hand first. You can do rear hand first. Yep. Okay. So rear hand as the front foot steps out. One, two, four shoulder, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, four, good. And we'll walk back. Rear hand, front foot together. One, two, three, four. Retreat. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now walk back. Same drill. Oh, not another same drill. Okay, now, uh, the same rear hand. This time, your rear hand is going to work with your rear foot. Okay, because if, if the front hand can work, the rear hand can work with the front foot, the rear, I mean, the rear hand can work with the front foot, the rear hand must be able to work the rear foot. So there's going to be a delay like this. One, two. One, two. Rather than, okay, so 
Okay. Your fat looks funny until you put the front hand in. Correct. One, two. Right? One, two. One, two. One, two. Right? Use the front foot to run. One, two. Or not use it. One, two. One, two. Okay? Feel, feel that you're really be generous with the movements of your shoulders. It allows you to give you more power and also more reach. Right. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. No. Side yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you notice boxes when they when they train, they like do this. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing that? Because it's they want right. yeah. Liberation. What? Because the target is right here. Why are they punching the side? They want to make sure they know how to really stretch. So when you actually hit the target, your body is used to expanding. Okay? So what happens is when you use it, when you use the rear rear foot with the uh, front foot and the uh, rear foot and the front hand, you have this thing going. It's called a twisting body. When you use the front hand, it's just regular diagonal body. No, 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 it's called a side body. See, you want to go into like all the way extend, extend from the shoulder, not the hips, because the hips are not available. The hips are attached to the legs. The legs are moving. You cannot use your hips while you're moving. They make up the the movement makes up the power. Absolutely, the body weight is, is being carried forward. Yeah. Okay. But when you're standing still, yes, you can use the hips. But when you're moving forward, the hips are attached to your lower body. They're unavailable. You have to use the shoulder. So, so you, you see, I'm doing a side body now, rather than this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how much extra, extra. If I'm just doing this, using my, uh, my, um, my elbow. Right here, <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> you add a few inches and more power. Yeah. Right? Because the shoulder itself can, can give you that at a, at a, um, power comes in handy when you're in close quarter fighting. If, 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 you're, if your hand is right here, right, you don't want to do this. <laughs> Right? If I have my hands right here, uh, I just use my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah! I just push from my shoulder. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah! So that, that's why you, you get away from... People do that all the time with their like, clench. Mm -hmm. They don't hit the guy, they go like this. Because they want that reach, that distance to get. But instead, you go oh, I just use... Mm -hmm. When you're clenching, you're not moving, use the rest of the joints. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Pretty good. Um, right side forward. So we're doing rear hand, rear foot. Yeah. So one, two. Yep. Okay? You, you're also doing the, you're doing the uh, twisting body. Okay, twisting body. Let me show you. The movement itself does not influence your your force. Okay. The tendency is right, but you want to clench it. One, two, one, two. Same thing. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. And go back. One, two. Make your chest. One, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So forward. Go. So, rear hand, rear foot. Make sure you're doing twisting body, okay? One, two, even more. Three, four. See if you can do this. Keep it. Yeah. See, that is, this is more than this. Right, you feel, yeah, you really feel that you're like kind a of pretzel. Yes. Good. Now I call it retreat. 
retreat, when you go back, your rear hand now works your, with your front foot. One, two, still twisting body, okay? One, two, yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, walk back. Very good, rear hand, rear foot as you start. One, two, three, four, retreat, rear hand, front foot. One, two, three, four, very good. All right, by practicing this, you take it apart, basically you take apart this. One, two, one, two. You take this, this set of movement apart and steady individual movement. Front hand, hmm, I got two feet. Front hand work with front foot. Second option with a yang, yin yang. Front foot work on the front hand work with rear foot. A rear hand work with front foot. Rear hand work with, with rear foot. Okay, so now we know the came from. Then you can start mixing it up. Okay, that, that's the power. So when you do this, you really understand what this is now. Okay, rather than just, oh, from here. Okay, so you, you practice it, I'm gonna go forward this way, forward this way. Back to this way, back to this way. Okay, let's, let's go switch. Front hand, rear hand. Front hand, rear hand. Rear hand, front hand. Rear hand, front hand. Couple with your, your full work. So you own it. You own this basic punch, very simple punch. Okay? Cool. What is the lower body, the car? And your upper body is your the driver. The driver. The driver. Oh, it's the driver. Yeah. Okay. The driver is. <laughs> See, it has to know when to turn, when to speed up, when to slow down, when to brake, when to exit. The driver is the, is the mind. Correct. The driver doesn't move the car. Okay. The car is, um, and the car and the passenger become one. And this is what they refer to as Zen state. Right, right. Zen is no mind. Doesn't mean one you're not thinking. You're one with. Uh, okay. You're one with your movements. You you are the movements. The movements are you. Gotcha. Okay? Which is what this guy's all about. See? Yes. The body and the mind. The car, the pack, or the driver. They're not two separate entities. Okay? The car doesn't drive the driver, the driver doesn't push the car. <laughs> right? Right. Each cannot live without the other. Yeah. So the yin and yang of, uh, symbol is so powerful because it explains all of everything in this physical world. The, from the way we think to the way we, uh, we move. <coughs> Very good. <clears throat> so before we, we get into lapsa, we want to uh, quickly re uh, re revisit <clears throat> the four corner. We did it a month or two ago. Just want to make sure that you guys are still playing. Are playing with it. Okay. Of course, for you, for you, the, the person who's learning knife forms, you are practicing that. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but you are also practicing knives. Yeah. That's the beauty. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is what what, uh, what we're going to do. You're going to grab the knives. Okay. Or you can use mine. Doesn't matter. I think it's better to use yours because yours is more. It's heavy. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Then I felt my hands today. <laughs> yeah. Big power. It has a good. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday. That's right. Friday Eve. That's right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We got, we got us a refund yeah. on one of them anyway, right, so right. I guess we have to do that one together because it's got both our names on it. Yeah. We're so on Saturday. Yeah. But um, and then I got we got the property tax bill. It pays no people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is that next year? Next year, though. Which next year? No, let's do like November 1st. Really? What? Yeah, we were, oh. we were paid through November 1st. Oh, okay. Gold, cool. right? Yeah. Well, we know it's just the first and summer. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. well, first and summer is 2298. Yeah. 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 The other one in February. And it's 2298. That's about, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the old one. They haven't cut up yet. Yeah, screw it up for you. Oh, exactly. That's yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you're doing exactly the same thing because well, by the time you, you learn the knife form, you are simply attaching the knife yes. to your hands. Right now, all you have to think about the knife, the knives are from the tip to your elbow. That's it. If you look at it, it's the same thing. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. This is a little bit longer. It's, a, it's about 12 inches. Like that. Yes. Right? Some people have longer arms, they're longer. Right? Yours, yeah, yours will be. Right for him, but it's a yeah. perfect size, right? Exactly. Wow. Yeah, because you're, you know, you're taller, your arms are longer. Yeah. But it's the same thing. So that's why I think I don't know if you've heard this. <clears throat> Long time ago, I said I'm going to give you a present, no charge. Always remember, wherever you go, you are carrying two knives with you. Yep. That's it. That's it. This is the handle right here. We are holding it. Okay. All right. So. Um, Let's uh, separate a little bit, just in case. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> just in case. Oh, my. You're good. You're good. Right. Good. All right. So we'll do the same thing. Okay. We're gonna work on the four corners. The four corners. The open hand, of course, is panza. It's self familiar, right? Right. We're just gonna do this uh, four times. Okay. Ready. Just repeat, okay? One. Exactly. Two. Three. Four. Excellent. Switch hands. Same drill. Yes. Yes, exactly. All right, very good. Something you can do. You, well, you don't want to do over, because you can no. catch yourself. Yes. All right, so you go like this, which is what? Circular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. okay? All right, All right, so you move to your right hand forward. Same thing, okay? One, two, three, four, and switch. Very good. The next one is the pak sao, pak no, okay? From where you are, you're going to do um, <coughs> either fuk sao, in this case, you can do a uh, because it came off of this, see? Mm -hmm. Right. Good. If we went through the sequence, we'll be. Jumpsa. Yeah. True. So from here, we're just going to do paksa. Your pakdo is like pakdo like this. Okay, not your hand, not you. Okay? Correct. Right. Because the handles are different. <laughs> this is the handle. For him, the handle is the wrist. Mm -hmm. so, so he's doing this. You're doing, you're, you're pivoting from the elbow. He's pivoting from the wrist. Okay. Okay, so yeah. You, yeah, so you all you're doing is just slap this way. Yeah. Okay. And then from here, your hand's like this. Okay, from okay. here, turn into a jamsa forward rather than sideways, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Each individual movement taken from, from the, uh, the drill can be applied to real situation. He's throwing a punch, you go, right? Yep. Yes, he's throwing a punch at you, you go, <laughs> You slap out of the way and cut the neck. He throws another punch. Okay? All right, so. So, uh, am I? Oh, yeah, we'll go back to the left side, forward again. Okay? So, one, two, three, four. Very good. And switch. Same thing. One, two, three, four. And switch back. Very good. <clears throat> okay. The next one is the uh, lanza. Okay. Lanza. Lanza is coming down this way. 
okay and you want to use fuxa fuxa so it's different because we just use the jump up we're going to use fuxa okay from here fuxa Okay. All right, all right. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Very good. Switch. One, two. Very good. So One yeah. wrist, right? Yes. In this case. Okay, because the length and the sharpness of the sword, of the knife, you make it, you, you are doing underneath the turn, by the over. Okay, now from, uh, <laughs> I'm conscious of you. Okay, for open hand, run, say right side forward, okay? Mm -hmm. Undo this, boom, right? Okay, see my, my, my bottom hand comes out from underneath, comes, it comes out from over. Because of the knives, the sharp and long, you do this instead. One, two. Yes. Oh. You see how how safe that is without the danger of cutting us out. Because if you try to go over, there's no way. Yeah. 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 There's no, there's no, your hands. Are that was just an instinct. Okay. We have no exactly. choice. You have the no choice. This is the organic part mm -hmm. of the, of the system. It's so organic because you instinctively know that if I go over, I'm going to cut myself with my arm. <laughs> That's why when you practice, you can, you can practice one over or two under. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about that? No. Under mm -hmm. for stealth. Under for stealth or safety. Or safety. <laughs> you can't tell what you're holding. And the hands will safety. Yeah. Ste stealth is when you open the hand, it comes out of nowhere from under radar into the radar. By the time they see it's too late because you go from from bottom to top. Okay? Yeah. So of course everything, every movement can be applied and every movement can turn into an application. An application. So after after uh we're resting, it's striking again, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it becomes a right? Yep. Yeah. Cut. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Your other, your other knife, your other hand is going to be pinning, or you know, pinning, pinning his other, um, his other arm or his other knife or sword. Okay. So in your case, that has a lot of meaning. Yeah. Right. In the beginning, you were introduced to this. Yeah. Okay. Which is basically this. Pansa and Pansa. Mm -hmm. But in the right. But in a knife, knife form, it's like a pendulum, mm. right? Because here, no, you can hold it, right? If I a stab, boom, a stab. Uh, okay. Okay. You go miss, miss, because when you go like this, you open again. Remember, every time you, you defend, you you have an opening, like this. So. So stay where you are, okay? This is the center line where I'm going to attack. Just use your uh, your left arm, kind of move my arm away, slide my arm oh, away, okay? okay. See, uh, center line, right? Ah, okay, okay. You you admit it you, because you have to pass th pass through the center line in order to defend. If you don't pass through. <laughs> Right. It needs to get hit. So you pass through. What's well, pass through? Open again. Right? Open again. So basically, what you're doing is this. Pox out and tons out. Right, right. <laughs> so what we did in the past where we just point the center line. That was it. Yeah, yes, exactly. Because you're looking at from from the attacker's point of view. You also look, look at from the defender's point of view. If I'm attacking, if the first attempt failed, a secondary opening will come up. Right. But if the defender knows his secondary op opening is coming up, he can defend against it. 
If you're not aware of boom, how can get hit? Because you're not aware of your openings, right? Mm -hmm. So when he attacks me, right, I know this is the opening right here. Because because the first thing we learn is about the central line. Right. Right? <laughs> if I I'm always conscious of where my center line is, he throws the first punch. I go boom. Right? Oh, I know they're not here. He's going to attack me again. Mm -hmm. well, he's going to attack me again, of course. Right? Right? <laughs> okay? So, you could, so oh, he's, he's just attacking my center line. Because I know where it is. Whenever my, my arms leave my center line, I'm susceptible to attacks. But sometimes you want them to see that. Dialing the camera. Yes, it's, it's a trap. Mm -hmm. So with, from here, you go, boom. Oh, good, because I want <laughs> you to see that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now he's, he's a, preoccupied with my opening, which is my center line. And he doesn't see his you know, other hand, mm -hmm. okay? So, so these are the, the mindset of an attacker and defender. So, uh, same thing with, with the defender, with the attacker, he knows that, oh, I have other hand. So to prevent me from a ambushing him, he wants to make sure he immobilizes that hand, right? So if I throw a punch, and he, he does a uh, some defense, right? Okay. Boom, right? See, I, I know this is my next target, but this guy and this guy are still available. Mm -hmm. All he has to do is, if I throw a punch, sit, sit there, and he can attack me at the same time, right? right? So I want to make sure I take away as many weapons as I can. To minimize, to minimize my my opportunity, uh, my chances of being attacked. Would you capture one that position? Absolutely. That's what dropping <laughs> comes in. That's what pinning comes in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the sword. Just because you defend it against the knights, because you defend it against once, does not mean he stays there. Right. The the movements are random and unpredictable. And your job is to make it predictable, which means. If I pin it, I know where it is. Right. While I delay that for a fraction of a second, I can attack. Right. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So, if I throw a punch, boom! Okay, now, I want to make sure I occupy this opening, but make sure that this guy is not going to come up into a full shot on me. Right? So, after I strike, boom! Right there. <laughs> right? Okay, so now he has to defend. Right? Because yeah. otherwise he gets it. He gets hit. Uh -huh. So my chances of succeeding is better now. So I come in here and go, okay, boom. Oh, oh, he's the dead. Oh, I'm going to do it again. That's, that's sticking. Right. Sticking. <laughs> right, right. So it's it's not, we don't practice this as a, as a technique. You do this and then this is a consequence for the subsequent movements. But rather, there's no pattern. There's no pattern. What he does dictates. Dictates what you do yes. next. Yeah. Right? Yep. Well, the only thing we do is do we want to do a repeat attack or switch attack? Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're we'll coming here, boom, and I do this, okay? My right hand, if I want to repeat, then I do this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This is called repeat. Mm -hmm. yep. Right? Same thing. If I go like here and here, and I want to do a switch, is this. <laughs> I see it? Yep. That's what we work on. You mean next? <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? So we practice both. And again, then again, it also depends on his energy. When he defend against my 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 um, second move, right. is he just kind of holding his holding his ground, or he's pushing me forward, which determines my next move. Mm -hmm. So I come in here. Now he's pushing me. Uh, of course, I'll do it. Repeat. Because mm -hmm. if I do a he pushes me and I grab and I'm using force against force. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If I go forward, of course, I have the choice of going back <laughs> as well, right? right. He's going, I'm just going back and extend myself so that uh, there's a collision. Mm -hmm. But normally when he pushes, I want, don't want to go back, I just do a slip, or sometimes we call it a leap. Okay? Because I do this and he's pushing me, I just do a leap or a slip. But I also want to make sure this guy is controlled momentarily. <laughs> okay? 
So, so we've been a long time. Yeah, so from here, go flip, right? Well, so we okay. go flip, boom, right? And he checks right and goes, boom, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Again, right? Right, right. <laughs> so, that really, you're doing knives. It's the same thing, right? Okay? Okay. Yeah. So we do it right there. Okay? If you do it, stop, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay? So you think about mm -hmm. when, you, when you do this, yeah, the same thing. When I do this, it's a pin. Mm -hmm. Pin and a slide. Pin and a slide. Yeah. Well, eventually, you, you, the more you practice and transfer back to empty hands, you'll see the connection. Make sure empty hand um, movement's better. And consequently, your knife movement's better. They, they sort of feed on each other. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the greatest thing. Of course, we already found that out because your knives are much heavier than most. Your, your grip, push, you know, your, when you do empty hands, that much heavier. Yeah. It's not very heavy. Hands strong, strong wrist yeah. right there. Yeah. Exactly. Like um, Roberto Duran, hands of stone. Yes, that's right. He's got yeah. heavy hands. Look at his body. It's just smooth. There's no definition, no muscles. But he's that he's gifted, naturally heavy. Yeah. yeah. He's just punch, you know, punch has uh, strong punches. This is God given. You know, something you, you can train for, but he doesn't need to. He just you can look at his body, you know he doesn't train much. <laughs> you know, bricks and tents. Exactly. Yeah. He just has that, okay? Okay. So uh, so the next one I want to work on is the uh, guns guns up. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So from the left side, <coughs> Gansa. Uh, you can do a, do a, uh, oh, this one. Okay. or this way, right? Okay. In the form, you do this one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like the form. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful, right? So what? Was the stripes can be replaced by other stripes, other other kinds of stripes. But we're going to stick to the form, the drill. The drill. So when, when you do this, we're going to do a jump sum. Okay? So we're going to repeat this four times. Okay? One. So, yeah, same thing. Linear? Cutting or thrusting? You, you are chopping. Chop yeah, you're chopping. Okay. Right. Exactly. Okay. Because if it's thrusting, you'd be like, yeah, I'd be like that. Yeah, exactly. Which you can do. Yes, you can do that, yeah. Right. Okay? Right? But because it's in the form, it's in the knife form. So right, yeah, right. Exactly. He's doing the empty hand form, he's doing the knife form. So the movements are slightly different in chopping. But the forms are just reference. It's just a starting point as a root. Then he can start playing with the thrusting. There are only two methods, either you thrust or you chop. Mm -hmm. Okay, chop has many different. Um, chop is a slice, right? Is it similar? Chop is a slice, is a cut, is a right? It's exactly. <laughs> but my mind sees slice; it just connects that. Well, I think the difference, in my humble opinion, the difference between a cut and a chop. The chop is like going through. Power, yeah, going damn. through. A, oh, okay, a, a cut. A cut is like maybe. Okay, for example, like this. Um, in Kendo, they have one, two. Mm -hmm. That would be a chop. If you chop wood, you don't stop halfway. Right. Remember, otherwise you can't cut, you can't split the, split the wood. Mm -hmm. Right? So you go down. So that's what happens. So, so pretend this is a sword, right? You go one, down. Okay? In Kendo, they have a term for that. I don't know the term, but I know there's a term for that. And then there's a term for this. See? Yeah, Only see the half cut. Mm -hmm. It's a cut. They call this a cut. Half and full cut. Mm -hmm. We can have a quarter. Quarter, half, and full. Just the head. <laughs> exactly. You want to split the head, split to the chest, or split the body. Okay. So I think that's the difference between a cut and a chop. A chop is the full body. A cut, probably only the head. Okay, slice is another term for for uh, 
for chop. These instruments are different. Mm. See that? Chopping, you're using a thicker instrument. Yes. Slicing is thinner. Thin. Uh, okay. Slice, right? Chop. You think a big axe. Yeah. When you slice, you don't use a big axe. You use a, a, a really thin knife. Yes. Okay? So that's the difference. But, but the movements, both movements, uh, all three movements create the same line, circular, curved line. Right, exactly. Okay, good. Okay, so next one from here. Okay, we want to work on the. Uh, yeah. Okay. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. And switch to the other side. Same thing. One. Two. Three, four, good. You can also do do this way. Okay. From under. Mm. Under. Yeah. Under. And you come back. Yeah, well, I'm coming back. We're on right side. We're right side, right? Mm -hmm. One, right? One. Ah. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is just the added bonus. So you can think about this is the, again. It's conscious. If are you conscious, if you're conscious with that, then you turn it into a part of the drill. Mm -hmm. The drill you don't mention becomes an application. Exactly. Okay. All right. Right side. First. Right side. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. All right. Very good. All right. Especially when you go, when you, when you go into, yeah, when you go into uh, switching. See, when you go switch. That underneath comes in handy. Left side, right. One. Good. Right. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. side. Right. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you, your front hand is. Yep. And back. back. First place. All right, very good. So, uh, we did both sides. Okay, the, mm -hmm. the last one is the Fuxa mm -hmm. strike. Okay, Fuxa strike. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Switch hands. One, two, three, four. Very good. All right. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah. Same, same. Mm -hmm. This becomes the end. As far as the right? Yeah, you don't want you don't want to be above. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, I'm, I'm cutting this way. You're cutting down. I'm cutting, no, I'm cutting diagonal. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. I'm doing this. Exactly. You got your fingers. Of course. That's, that's, right that's the idea. Yep. You get to your hand first before the body. Mm. The <laughs> you don't take the third away, then he's harmless. Bench on him. <laughs> exactly. You see a lot of the sliding and bouncing is about that. You bounce off, yeah. boom. Cut the fingers off, boom. They're drop the weapon. Yep. Okay. So so he's okay. With with with. There is no follow up because you dropped it. <laughs> so he's, gonna, he's gonna use his hands good and just gonna you know run through your blades. Okay. That's fine. So with a person with with a with a bat with a uh, long sword with a stick or a staff, their choice is the same thing. It's eight directions. They can right. poke you, which is a thrust. Right. Right. If it's a pointed, like a um, like a knife or like a, a sword, right? Chinese sword, which is double edged with a pointy with a point, so they can stab you, stab you, stab you, which is a thrusting method. Or they can chop you, right? 
the top, of course, since we know the A direction, we have downward, upward. Mm -hmm. Sideways, sideways. Diagonal, diagonal. Diagonal, diagonal. This is what Kendo, the art of sword fighting, is all about. Okay? And they do this a lot. So, when they when you do this, to you around here, and they go like this, that's a Fu Sao strike. Okay? Right? When I do this, you can do Fu Sao again. There you go. You see how far away. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the close I am to you, the more dangerous I become. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You intercept before it becomes <laughs> dangerous. Okay? But because the person, you don't assume the guy is not experienced. So what he's going to do is, he probably go, one, here's the opening. He's going to do it again. That's when you're mm -hmm. pin. Or ah. Yeah. See? Yes. Because your 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 sword, your, yes. your knife, is they say this one's right here. Okay. And you just do a kind of one, right? So boom, and you're gonna go pin and turn the blade. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pin and slide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in in the empty hand, it's the same thing, right? You throw a, a, a hook. Hook with the rear hand, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do this, right? Okay, same thing, right? And I'm gonna do exactly. Now, mind you, this is an empty hand, this is not practical because he's got other hand. Mm -hmm. In sword, he only has one arm. Two, two become one. Right. So um, this does not apply. Mm -hmm. But I'm just showing you the empty hand version of the knife. Mm -hmm. But in reality, yeah, I don't want to do that. that I, I don't want this guy hanging over my head. Yeah. So when he comes in, I want to make sure I'm already attacking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because once he gets hit, he's not thinking of attack. Ouch! Right? Yeah. Right? He either, either he has to defend or he gets he gets hit. Mm -hmm. right. Most likely he has two hands. He's going to use the other hand. But he doesn't come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? That's exactly the same thing I just saw with the Randy Williams video. He was showing how to. In my opinion, he was doing both defense, throwing the hook, no. and he's coming here. Right. Like, but, but he was kind of explaining this in a way where it was just pure defense. But I saw that right away. I'm like, you have to deal with that hand. I would much rather Absolutely. attack. He's so using, I have to deal with he's it. He's using smothering. Right. Ah, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm saying. So once you understand the knives, then you go to. So oh, that's he's okay. smothering. So yeah, what about this hand? That's the problem. What about this leg? Right. Okay. Yep. A person has four main weapons: two arms and two legs. The other are secondary. No. The forehead, the elbows, the, the sh you know. I mean, uh, shoulders, shoulders, all those can come in handy, but you have both primarily two major weapons. Mm -hmm. And we've never talked about that. We always talk about attacking center line. So when I saw him do that, we have done the palm heel strike, but again, it's a strike to center. So it's not wrong. No. It was interesting. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. No. But you have to say, it wasn't the. If it's, if it's the, is it the most efficient way? No. Because if you throw a, a hook, I can catch this. Well, right. What can I catch here? Yeah, right. <laughs> Why catch um, the shoulder? Why can I catch the face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, what made no sense to me. Why? Well, that's not that wrong. It was no, it's not wrong. It's just different. His personal um, uh, approach to fighting. Yeah. Or maybe he's exploring, or maybe all the all the possibilities. That's what. Right. And sometimes you need to do that because the guy is so much bigger. His arms are so much heavier. Mm -hmm. One arm. He's not going to be able to withstand. If, the, if I'm fighting someone who is six feet tall, I'm only five seven, or six two, and his arms are as big as my leg, <laughs> how am I going to fight against with one? I need to use both. Yes. Right? Just to smother, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Right? Okay. Second Boom. And then you can then you can go into the uh, slot. Okay? But yeah, so this man did against the boxer. What he did, he couldn't reach him, so he just. He's the elbow to his, he actually, 
what is the argument? Say, Army the movie. movie. The right, movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the movie. But yeah, right, right. So he's saying that the guys, these weapons are too long and too strong. Let me destroy the weapons. Exactly. So you can't use against them. Exactly. This is also the concept of extrema, the Filipino colony. Mm -hmm. They call this this approach defending the, the cobra. Mm -hmm. If I if I pull down, pull uh, pull out the fangs of, of a cobra, it becomes harmless. Correct. Um, That's what we talked about with uh, fighting Mayweather. He hides behind that shoulder so well, and everybody's trying to hit him. Shoulder. Hit his shoulder. He can't fight anymore. Right. He's like, oh, I'll get hot. Oh, my God. Exactly. Just pop that shoulder. That's what he's giving you. Exactly. And then he's, then he's dropped. He's dropped. Mm -hmm. and he True. Right. That's the target. They don't see him. Yeah. So as soon as some boxer sees that. Right. They, they can pay me for that. Exactly. <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> yeah. because it's, it's, sure. it's boxing, there are rules. Certain things you cannot do. But we say, don't take away your fangs. Just chop the head off. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> if the head is, is is gone, the the fangs are useless. True. That's the that's the thing. Us and all the stuff by the us. We we go try to the juggle. We don't yeah. fool around. We don't say, yeah, let me take away the weapon. You know. Sometimes we do have because the guy is too big. Right? If he's too big, I'm I'm run. I'm not staying around. <laughs> Why would I fight a guy who's plus weight? I always be 60 pounds. If I'm cornered, I have to find my way out. Yes. If I have some place to go, I'm not fighting it. No matter how good I think I am. Right? Okay. Well, one well placed punch is going to knock me out. He's yeah. just so much bigger. Like, yeah. I wouldn't fight uh, George Foreman because his, his job is probably 10 times my cross. <laughs> yeah. He's just too big, too heavy. Right? So you pick your fights, eh? you fight intelligently. You don't say, I got 10 years of experience, I should run away from this giant. Foolish. Okay, the time to fight is time not to fight. It's in in, in uh, swims, um, the um the art of war. Know when to retreat. Yeah. Okay. Every general, military general, reads that. Sun Tzu. How did you say it? Sun Tzu, which is uh, uh, it's probably a different pronunciation. I guess I pronounce it in Mandarin way. Sun Tzu is probably a Cantonese way. Anyway. Uh, okay. So Sun Tzu wrote the art of war, which tells you the strategy, not only about fighting, but also about dealing with relationships, business. <laughs> All corporate he heads who read that because no way to pull out. If they're losing money, I'm not gonna keep putting this on the market, you know sure. what I'm saying? Or I'm gonna lose a little, or I'm gonna hit with volume. So there's times you you know you want to sacrifice in order for long-term goals. Japanese are very good at that. They don't look immediately popular, they look 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. So they lose money, lose money, but they build their reputation. Okay? In the beginning, they sell the check, their cars cheap. Everybody can afford one, and then you increase, you, you increase the quality. Now you can't get without one. Everybody drives a Toyota. Because uh -huh. American motors are coming back, mm -hmm. you know, because they realize that you are working with this guy, you've got more quality. <laughs> you know, it took them how long? Yeah, I know, I know. So now, Chrysler, Ford, you know, Ford was great, never took any money from the government. Everybody else did. Right. Ford just said, you know, I can handle this, and they did. Right? You know, so it's great. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, the truck was a Ford. Yeah, the Ford. The <laughs> Ford, you know, the Ford uh, Mustang. You know, it's like, or a muscle car. You know. Anyway, so there are times you need to use both arms. But whenever possible, if you use one big fight, you would you attack and defend the same. Mm -hmm. So for him to to do a tanzao in a in a paxo to smother the guy is not wrong. But be mindful that, that he has two legs. So if I if I throw my right hand, he's like, boom, he's right here. See that? Mm -hmm. He literally pushed me away, which means he pushed me out of the fighting and punching range into the kicking range. Come here, brother. Boom. See, yeah. he, he actually, he made me do that. It helped you. That's yeah. the parting shot. As I'm, well, this is what happens. My wings here now, I can kick mm. with this leg. That's, yeah. the, that's the whole reason we stand this way. Yep. Mm. So you kick the, the front leg is always ready. I punch and you push me up, okay? Now this leg becomes the other. Mm -hmm. So what, 
So, you know, what he does is, is, is fine. We just have to say, is it the most efficient way? If you can catch the shoulders, why don't you catch his face? Sure. Right? right? It's the same thing whether you hit here or his face. Yeah. Okay. You don't shake him up as much by smothering him here. You shake him a lot by palming his face. You get jar allowed to move in. Yep. Okay. So everybody has their own style of fighting. Okay. Um, we, we don't say who's right or who's wrong, which is hard to say. If we will, if we follow the golden rules of Yin Chang, we need to be efficient. In weapon fighting, yes, you need to make sure. Whenever you can disarm him, you disarm him. Because when he, he comes to a knife fight without a knife, that's too bad, right? But with empty hands, you want to come down the corners. Yes. Rather than... Because if you try to... How are you going to pull the teeth out? You got to hold it and then pull it, right? Yeah. And you get bit by it, right? Yeah. You chop it off and he's dead. Right. Body down. Yeah. That's, that's the idea. Don't take away his fangs, which is the fangs, one, two, three, four. These are his fangs. This is the head. Take away one fang, he has three left. Take away the head, he has nothing left. Nothing left. Okay. Yeah. So, no offense, Randy. He's a great guy, and a great, terrific, and very, he's a yeah, yeah, he's very skilled. Yes, yeah, very skilled, very good teacher. Yeah. Um, you know, just from, from a simplicity standpoint, that approach is perfect for someone who's bigger than you are. That's great sense. That yes, makes a lot of sense. right. Someone who's your size or slight, your size or slightly bigger, he's not going to be able to overpower you with one punch. So when I wish you a lot much bigger, you have to use to smother. Yep. Yep. All right, very good. Okay, so we'll pick it up. Um, so we did. We did. No, we didn't do the right side, did we? No. Now we need a right side. Okay, so right side forward. Right here, same thing. We'll do hook side, okay? Uh -huh. One, uh -huh. two, three, four. Very good. All right. Switch back. Very good. All right, now it's time to put them together. So, mm. so what you're doing is Tan Sao, uh -huh. right? Pak Sao. Yep. Oh my Lan Sao. Okay. Gan Sao. Fuk Sao. Yep. You do the same thing, okay? Right? One, two, three, four, five. And return. We'll repeat the left side. One, two, Three. This is obviously a pin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Four. Five. Return. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Return. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And right side forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right side forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right side forward. One, two, three. Tansen. Uh -huh. oh, from from Tansen. Mm -hmm. my pox out. Okay. First Tansa, pox out, Lansa. Pox, that's where. Lansa. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then Gansa, Fuxa. One more time. One. Pansa, Paksa, two, 
three, four, five. Good. Okay. Okay. So, hands up. Okay. 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 So, so go to go from pan do, pak do, so this is pin like this. Yeah. Lan do, right? Lan do. From here, flip. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So that's the flute comes in right there after you do this. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so nah. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you go from. Boom, right here, here. So pin, flip, pin, flip. Do that on the pin, flip, right? Mm. Mm. So someone throws you on. Know, you, you stab, stab, like that. Yeah. Of course, my other, my other knife is not going to just sit there. Right. We don't go like that. Ah. <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna use that after. Yeah, he's gonna. Like, I'm done. <laughs> so whatever you want, he's gonna start using his other you know, yeah. If it's not trapped, he's gonna use that. But at least go boom, boom. Okay. So now I truck, truck that. Yeah. Knife. But then he has his other knife. Of course. <laughs> yes. This is, yeah. Everybody can do anything at any yeah. other time. It depends on who's more skilled or experienced. Exactly. And knives fast. The only way to make it fast is to flick it. Flick it. Flick like this. Rather than swing. Swinging oh. is for long weapons. Flicking is for short weapons. Okay. okay. If I have a long weapon, because it's heavier, I need to swing it. Baseball. Mm. There's no power to flip it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right? This is too heavy. Right? Just, you cannot just use your wrist. There's no, you can't hit the ball very far. So you need to swing it. So if you're swinging something heavy, why would you swing something light? But that's why you use the flip like this. Flip. See how fast that is. I can do this back. No matter how fast I swing, well, I'm not going to be as fast as this. Let's see. Same thing. Four. Let's see the wrist. Wow. <laughs> you can feel it. You can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the grip I can. Yeah. There's friction here. Yeah. Okay. I'm not slicing through it like this. I just do, because the knives are very sharp. I don't need to chop someone's head off. I just want to do damage. Yeah. If I, if I cut with the arm, he's going to drop his weapon. Then I can go for the throat. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's okay. Start again. Yeah, I'm just doing jump side, fuk side, jump side, fuk side. See, I want to do it. Yeah. Is it a roll? Okay. Ah, it starts seeing now. Okay. Even I'm just doing jiang sao and feng sao, but there is somewhere in between uh, the last two. Okay, so if I cut and I fail, I can pin and cut again. Right. Right? Cut, pin, cut. Or cut, pin, cut. And you practice as such. First, you go for speed. Then, you, you go for meanings. This is speed. This is just the wrist. All you do is flick the wrist. Flick and flick. Sink, tilt, sink, tilt, sink, tilt, sink, tilt. Mm -hmm. So that's the mechanism. Okay, the mechanics. It's just like this. 
-hmm. right? Except you do it in a diagonal way, right? Sink, tilt, sink, tilt, sink, tilt. Then you look at the size of the knife. Sink, flip, sink, flip, sink. Right? You sink it and then you flip to this side so you can control. Attack, control, attack, control, attack, control, attack. So you're always doing cut, control, cut, control, cut, control, cut. So think about this. I know you got it ready. Just like use a plus little one. Okay? So I do it so we can see. Okay? So I'm doing this. First, first you, you cut. Right, you cut right, uh -huh. and I go back. See, it comes towards me. Uh. Attack. Mm -hmm. See, after I attack, you attack. I go back in and attack. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. Right. We don't assume. We never assume your first attack is going to succeed. Right. If, if the guy is experienced, right, he's doing this, you come in. Right. I'm going to, right, if I'm experienced, I'm going to stand here, ah, oh, it's coming. I'm going to retreat and then forward again. Come in. Oh, you're going to attack right away, right? Right. Okay, boom. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this is the scenario. Doesn't mean it's going to happen that way. Exactly. Right, right? this is a drill. So he, right. So in your mind, you're thinking he's thrusting at me. I pin, I pin and slide. Or he's thrusting, pin and slide. That's the drill. That's the scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. You you give yourself a scenario because it looks like you're rolling, but you're not you're pinning. Wow. Um, what do you right here? Right there. So. You can practice both ways, two ways. One is just basically doing sink, tilt, sink, tilt, sink, tilt. Okay? So you, you, uh -huh. you don't, then you start looking at it in a more detailed way. Sink, tilt. I gotta turn this way before I can sink again. See, this in between frame is a pin. Uh huh, uh huh. Or a bounce. Depends on how per permanent that is. If I just go, um, if there's a bounce, are you going back? Right, right back. Yeah. Like this. Okay, okay. Pin. I'm see. I'm holding on to it. Mm -hmm. I'm attacking with the other hand. Mm -hmm. Bounce is this. I'm just going bounce off his weapon, but I'm pinning with the other one. So I go boom. Because if I just bounce, he can bounce back too. Mm -hmm. You go here, he comes back. Right. So I bounce, and before I attack, I go this way. <laughs> mm. A pin. Now he can't use that against me while he's had to deal with this. Mm -hmm. right, same thing, I bounce. Normally I bounce this bounce, right? Bounce, slide, bounce, slide. But I don't assume after I bounce, he's not going to use that against me again. So I'm going to go pin with this. Yes. I can pin again and about a slide. So there are times to bounce, there are times you pin. So in this case, I bounce first and pin second. Bounce off his weapon. Bounce off his weapon. But pin with that other knife. Right? Say this. Right? Bounce by itself. Bounce and pin and slide. So the bounce and slide need to come together, otherwise it's not bounce. This is a bounce, like, see? Right, right, bounce this, see, if you look at, if you look at the, the human body, this is a bounce. Right? See how, this is, this is a pin. Right? Pin. Wow. Pin. Pin. Bounce. Pin. Yes. So you bounce with the front hand, pin with the rear hand. In, uh, Filipino college mm -hmm. looks like this. He throws a rear hand. Rear hand? Yeah. Right here, right? See, so do this. Mm. 
If I just use the front hand, it looks like this. Can we come again? Front hand. Oh, oh you rear hand, right? That's a bounce. I'm bounced off him. Right, right. But this you guy can hit me again, so I'm doing this. I pin. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't use the same arm right, again. Right. Same thing. So once you understand that, you see colleague that you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. bounce. So the second one is the pin. So you come here, right? So yeah. again, if, you, if you're um, sometimes the situation, the situation is, is such that you are surprised, you're not ready. So I'm sitting right here. And all of a sudden, he throws a punch. Oh, I gotta survive first because I'm not, I'm, I'm not expecting that. He just come here and so oh, and then I. Mm -hmm. Right, I was just. Thinking to me, so I can use. I'm right here. I can use either hand. I can use this, um, or I can use this. Right, so I'm right here. I'm gonna, oh, I need to survive first before I go. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. It could be shallow, it could be matched. In this case, I'm shallowing out on the outside. But it can shut on the inside and outside, depending on which way I turn. And same thing. The guys, thrusting towards you. You can either turn this way or turn this way. Shadow on the outside, shadow on the inside. So all those principles and concepts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like all the concepts um, become well, they become big. Uh, from the Wing Chun concept, empty hands still, um, all apply to knives. Yeah. If we can, if we could, we will cut the the, 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 the hand that holds the weapons. But because there's an extension, it's hard to get to the hand at first strike. So you you have to hard to cut the uh, get to the body. Right? So from here, we don't have that problem. Right? Here, he comes in, sit, sit, right there. I don't have to because there's no additional uh, uh, there's no addition to his own extension. Well, I'm able to do this, right, do, right. do this. But in the, in the knives, yeah. your first strike, mostly, his, his, yes, hand. his hand holding it. So, it would probably be doing this. Slicing out the finger, then he has to drop the weapon. Yeah, mm -hmm. do it this way. Okay, I'm here, and I'll boom, cut it, and then, <laughs> okay. Um, he has no other hand to attack you because both arms merge into one. When you're holding a, a long weapon or staff or stick, big or bad, you you become one one arm bandit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you have to do this. These things. Yeah. You just do this or you do this. You don't have the other arm handy. You know. <laughs> it depends on the length of that. Well, but that's what you're saying. Yeah, but you know, most because most I feel like if you're swinging, I think. yeah, this is yeah. yeah, this is kind of short. You know, normal. A chance. Yeah, I guess is that balls though. Would you rather? Is it better to smother with both? Um, <clears throat> either you do do a smother. Okay, now you can, oh. you can pin. Uh, uh, that's what happens. Yeah. Uh, so that this is this is the average length of a, of a chin, Chinese chin, mm. which is double edge with a pointy point for step for stabbing. Double edge, so it's a sharp one. Both. Yes, the Chinese weapon. What are those? This Chinese weapon. Um, or chin. How do you spell? J I J I A N and chin. It's just it's just that's how spell. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Kind of like the, uh, I'm sure I've seen the, you know, the, the, the bar, you have a handle. This is long blade, sharp one, both ends, 